Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I was thinking about it and truly I think my shepherd would um like I really want to go get Morden Solus. I want to go get Solus uh so <laughs> Morden. <laughs> yeah. Um and like get going on the dossiers but Anderson himself, my space dad, has asked me to come visit him, and my shepherd was very, you know, thinks very highly of Anderson, um, and also, like, I don't know, like, a, it would be, like, a familiar face, and, like, you know, space dad, you know, essentially, like, I don't know, it just, it makes more sense for me to go to the Citadel first without getting anybody first, and just trying to, like, not even just, like, going, oh, hey, space dad, it's, like, um, Trying to get like a hang of things, like what, how things have changed, what's going on in the last two years. Getting somebody who will like talk to you straight and like help you figure things out, you know? Like I need that. <laughs> uh, we could go down here. We'll go down there later. There's no one down there right now. So let's, let's do, if it'll let me. I think it should still let me go to the Citadel. Oh yeah, here's the new galaxy map. Wee, it's a little more. <laughs> it's that little ship. Explore Normandy Crest site. Oh, we're in the Omega relay, or we're in the Omega system. Interest. Oh, I guess that would make sense because they want us to get the Professor and the Archangel. That's right. He's there and the veteran. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can go to the Citadel. And this is one of the things I really love about Mass Effect 2, is it gives you, like, it can get a little crowded, but it gives you, like, a highlight of missions in each system. Like, I don't know. Ma Mass Effect 1 did that, too, but I don't know. It just wasn't... I don't know. I didn't, it wasn't quite as, like, clear as this one is. I think you can actually, can you technically go out of order in a recruiting people, but you just won't have access to your upgrades until you recruit the scientist. This is so weird. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but Bioware just released like a massive, um, what do you, like a figurine? I don't know if it's probably like more anthropomorphic figures than like the word figurine is probably more for anthropomorphs. But they've released a giant model, that's what it is, a giant model version of the Citadel. And it lights up and it's $200. And I want it desperately because I have like all of the iterations of the Normandy. I have all of those. I have the Turian frigate. Uh, I, I have the Tempest as well. Um... I don't have the big one, which I'm very, very sad about. I really wanted to get the big one, but I don't have it. But they have a massive Citadel replica, and I want it so bad. Oh, so many memories. Like, I think Shepard just is still trying to get her feet under her, you know? Like, so much has happened. She's just woken up. Like, she's figuring things out, and, like, she's obviously good on her feet, but, like, more information from a trusted source is never bad, you know? So, I feel like Anderson would be your first port of call. For my ship. Oh my gosh. She's so beautiful. Yep. Don't mind me, just taking some Cerberus operatives. Yeah, I already did that. I, so I gave myself an Assault Mastery point. Um, so this only, yeah, this, I think for some reason I was like, this, I think I was in the, one of the videos saying, when you unlock all of these, you get this, but that's not how it actually is. I think I, either I misremembered or like I misspoke or something. This only unlocks when you, for anybody, when you get their loyalty, after you've completed their loyalty missions. Uh, let's do... Yeah. I don't have any options yet for them. The glove cars. Look how shiny that thing is. The glove cars make me laugh. Oh, that's the arc. What is it? Arc thrower? Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. This 
best recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, <laughs> Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman, <laughs> we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the <laughs> Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, look. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit service. Kasumi, I love you, but I have to do something else first. Can I help Ooh, you, man? Uh, I meant to listen to that discussion. It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review Holy of security Holy cow. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Her face is terrifying. It's never been the greatest face, but like now it is also still kind of like, like it's too smooth. Thanks for your time. Next. Ah, uh, we missed the argument of trying to get in. But this is like the airport security protocols that we have, you know, like especially in America, like after 9-11, right? Where they're like, we're going to implement all these safety protocols, blah, 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 blah. And it turns out like 95% of the time when they do like test runs of like actually getting like dangerous materials through like like the airport, 95% of the time you can still get through whatever. If you know what you're doing, you can still get stuff through. This only inconveniences everybody else, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know. Like, safety protocols are good, but this, this is not gonna reduce the chance of a Geth infiltrate. The Geth didn't infiltrate, you know what I mean? They just blasted through a Citadel relay <laughs> into the center of the, the Citadel, you know? Like, I don't know. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? Listen, listen, I didn't realize she would do that. <laughs> Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Uh, I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> We need to get that cleared up for He's you. He's like, ha <laughs> Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. You're gonna let me through? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> also, that was hilarious. Also, I've never had to, because the Kasumi's thing, I usually get late in the game. So, like, I see it and I walk right up to it. Uh, but I've never heard her yell at me for walking you past. You have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Uh-huh, Bailey. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Uh, how do you... You're very calm. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those he out. He looks really nice. His eyes are really blue. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dollar. <laughs> but I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? What? He's, he's making it sound so sketchy. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? 
There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a massive, useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee. I'm surprised he's here and not in Cerberus, honestly. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly ass. <laughs> okay. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you can Really? That surprises me. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I'm so, uh, usually security isn't the number one priority in a lot of places. It's like, we have other things to spend our budget on. Blah, 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 you know? Uh, let's, um... Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't the Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones, or someone's poodle crapping on the ground. <laughs> Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. You don't get to tell them one way or the other. That's just how it is. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Sounds like uh, Hurricane Katrina, right? Where it's like you'd think uh, things would get going quickly, but it, I don't know. They, they got pretty hush hush about Hurricane Katrina after very quickly afterwards so I still don't know but as last I heard they were still having issue with powers and repairs in, in that area um, blah, 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 blah. tell me about this place all the wards are more or less multicultural but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians or Solarians in Zekira we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor and Hanar there's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Yeah, this one, like, you got the three arms, right? And it's the three biggest, like, species in the galactic, the galactic, uh, the economy, I guess. <laughs> the galactic space. Um, but this one's for everybody else. <laughs> All right, bye, Bailey. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like Bailey at all much, but uh, I actually I grew to like him quite a bit. There's Avina. She's still alive. I could talk to her, but I don't want to. Uh, I actually need to leave this room. Oh my gosh! Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's do this. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. <laughs> Listen to this. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? Oh, no. I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness. The endorsement <laughs> sales would certainly be worth offering <laughs> the a discount. scratch. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Ah, it's such a sellout. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. 
I look at chips all day. <laughs> it's festive. Anyway, gimme. Yep, time to purchase my friend. Also, time to purchase all the model ships and gonna purchase the fish. <laughs> this is my favorite store in the Citadel. <laughs> Anyway, it's such a sellout move and very out of character, I feel, in a lot of cases. <laughs> oh, but it's still funny. Let's see, I remember. It's just, it's a funny thing to do, and you can tell. Commander Shepard, nah, 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 nah. password and receive a free. I'll get back to you, I'll get back to you. Uh, yes, Presidium. Oh, the council is the. This is the only time you see a movie, Elcor, by the way. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and. Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good. He looks a little sickly. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper Sovereign. Ah, yes. <laughs> The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. You're Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why since, Saren recruited since them. Since when? This Reaper theory proves just how fragile <gasps> your mental state is. Oh my gosh! Manipulated by Cerberus, oh. and before them by <gasps> So infuriating after everything I've freaking done. They're willing to do anything to throw me under the bus to keep the status quo. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. They're robots. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real. Just as you he can't, convinced You can't. You can't. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth. One you insist on Why are you angry at me still? It's been two years. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. <gasps> you can't charismatic a robot into doing what you want. You know, like, that's how they see the Geth, right? A little later we figure out things are a little different, but like, even then, like, I don't think you really, I don't think you could. You could not necessarily charismatic a bunch of robots into, I mean, maybe you could. Especially with the way the Geth operate. But still, like, it sounds stupid. You're like, I used my charisma on a robot. It's like, did that, mm, what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and like, they're just immediately attacking me. Immediately attacking my mental state after everything I've gone through, you know? Just so that they can keep living in this, like, you know, idealized world where they don't have to worry about, like, I mean, just look at Sovereign. It's so frustrating. And I think we learned later that, like, the bits of Sovereign that exit that were, that were left got snatched up pretty quickly by, like, various, like, interested groups. And nobody's coordinating anything. They're all keeping it secret, you know? I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I can't. <laughs> They've obviously put a lot of thought into this beforehand, especially since it's the Turian guy 
giving me, which they, I don't think they ever get names. They're always Turian Counselor, Yasuri Counselor, Solarian Counselor. They probably have names, I just don't know them. Um, but since it's him who's suggesting it, they've obviously thought about this in advance. You know what I mean? What does that mean? Well, I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. The fact that I... You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. We shouldn't, I should not have brought these two in here with me, by the way. <laughs> Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Oh. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Consul. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Consulate. I don't answer to you, Dina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? <laughs> of course, Consulate. Good day to both of you. Oh, he's so pissed. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Consul position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. They, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, the way his skin looks is very odd in the updated version. Like, it's very, like, it's not even wrinkly. It's just, like, it looks uh, painted. It looks painted on. Like he's wearing makeup. But it's also, like, the wrong color for his skin tone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is exactly. Uh -huh. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. He says that. The front line. That's got to be He yours. says that, and then Mass Effect 3 happens, right? It shows he's got more left in him than even he thought, you know? <sighs> Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeyman they used to be. Boogeyman. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, 
they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. We should investigate more of the Citadel. Like, I don't, they still, everyone's like, oh, wow, there was a secret relay. And, like, I guess maybe that's part of not wanting to acknowledge the Reaper thing is that, like, outside sources have control of the Citadel and, like, had control of the Citadel and nobody wants to think about it like that. But, like, you would think they would at least covertly start investigating more of, like, the inner workings of the Citadel and, like, how the Keepers do what they do and stuff like that. But no, no, we're still gonna just live in blissful ignorance, which as a kid and as a, even as a young adult, I'm not even a kid, I played this game as a young adult. Like... I was like, oh, that would never happen in real life. Things change as you get older and you realize that you are living in a world full of willfully ignorant people who simply want the status quo to continue on despite like blatantly obvious things of, of issues of like things like climate change, racial injustice, staring you in the face. At some point, it's all going to actually come to a boiling head. And anyway, <laughs> hopefully something good can, can happen. You know, hopefully we can learn from these futuristic mistakes, which is what sci-fi is in part for, is looking at, like, potential, like, problems and solutions for the future, you know? And, but, anyway, I'm gonna ask about my ex now. <laughs> what happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, he's been promoted, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's it. That's all you're gonna give me? I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Space hamster! Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Sarah. Oh, I don't, Dad. Don't worry about it. Believe you me. Also, I really shouldn't have brought Miranda in here. She could probably hack every single thing in here. Uh huh. Also, yes, that or thing earlier where we saw the Elcor moving, it's literally the only time in the entire three game series that you will see an Elcor move. I think the body rig is just too difficult to make on a rate like the body rig movement is too difficult to make on a regular basis. But look at how many people there are. Also, one thing I did notice about Mass Effect 2 is that sadly. The colors are a little, like, everything's shinier, but, like, the colors are a little more muted. Like, in Mass Effect 1, everyone's outfits were very bright and colorful. Like, bright yellows, greens, blues, purples. And now they're all a little more muted, which is a bit of a bummer. Also, the Elcor only wear the same thing, which I guarantee you they would not. They'd have a little bit of variety. You don't even get to walk. It's so weird to not walk into that hallway. Um... Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this right now. We're gonna go get, we're gonna go. You do get to fast travel straight to the, um, Normandy, which is nice. We're gonna go get the doctor. We're gonna get Morden doing things properly. Well, you know, as properly as you wish to do it. <laughs> In whatever order you desire. <laughs> I could wander around the Citadel. There's plenty to do. But there's also, I don't know, missions and stuff that it's good to, like, I don't know, have all your, your initial bases covered. And having him having him and having the ability to do upgrades and stuff is really important. So, anyway, I'm going to call this one here. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I want to give, oh, like, this is the time <laughs> where I want to give special thanks to my patrons. So, uh, once again, thank you to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patrons, specifically Scalamonger, thank you so much, and Reese Galito, thank you so much. Thank you both, you're very amazing, and I appreciate you a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron, who covers us all in his leafy branches and helps us all succeed in, in our wonderful endeavor of playing video games. So. Thank you so much, Christopher. <laughs> I appreciate you a lot. And uh, thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.